Tonight, we're visiting the Bay State's oldest quarry. It has granite that dates back to a foundation that was built in 1680. It has now grown into the epicenter for high quality stone used in residential and commercial properties as far away as Hawaii. Here's New Center 5's Doug Meehan and tonight's Made in Mass. This may be the first Made in Mass where what's being made is from in Mass. How long does it take to get this out of the ground like this? <laughs> uh, it depends on the blast. Derek Stearns has been working at Plymouth Quarries on the Hingham Weymouth line since he was a teenager. This is the literal definition of being between a rock and a hard place. So what Billy's doing right now is he's using a carbide drill to give himself a one inch depth hole and then he puts the feathers and wedges in and then he taps them. For more than 100 years, Plymouth Quarries has been excavating these huge chunks of rock from its 60 acre quarry and then cutting them into building stone. <laughs> Weymouth granite, as it's called, is known worldwide for its distinctive characteristics. You're looking at what makes our Weymouth granite so unique. Here's the seam face which is the smooth part with the color, and then Billy split it, and that's the split face of the stone. Because of the uniqueness of that seam-faced color and texture, granite from these quarries have been used in construction buildings all over the country. Mike is in charge of taking the bigger pieces of stone and splitting them into workable pieces that are part of the order. As an example, these stones are on order from Boston College. He's now splitting it into a four inch or a six inch veneer. The university has been calling on Plymouth quarries for generations. In my lifetime, we've probably done 25 buildings in there. Jim Bristol began working the quarries more than 50 years ago. Today, his sons own the business. Because of the uniqueness of the granite, there's probably a building made out of Weymouth or Hingham granite in every community in New England and then it spreads out around the country. Jim says on the surface, it may seem like a business that simply bangs rocks all day. But if you dig deeper, he says, there is a real beauty in the daily discovery. So it's always uh, very interesting for me to see, the, see what's coming out of the quarry. If you're wondering why it's called Plymouth Quarries, if it's located in Hingham and Weymouth, well, it's because Plymouth County is located on the Hingham side of the quarry and it has nothing to do with Plymouth Rock. I'm Doug Meehan, WCVB News Center 5.